Well, welcome back to the Student Daily Bulletin of March 9th, 2020. Now, I want to just quickly mention, you guys lost that hour. I'm sorry. I know. Daylight saving time, whatever. But congratulations to Dan Taylor and the Fortson Chamber Orchestra for earning straight twos at District Band and Orchestra today. They were only a couple of points shy of an overall one rating. That's outstanding. One's the best, so you, I, I, I believe in you guys, so... Anyways, now we've got a busy Monday. For any of you interested in spring sports, the following is happening today after school. Softball tryouts take place at 2.30 p.m. in the small gym. Be prepared to go outside depending on the weather. You must have a completed sports physical to try out. Girls tennis tryouts and information meeting at 2.30 in the cafeteria. And track has a mandatory meeting at 2.30 in the auditorium. Practice will begin at the following day and all students must have a current physical on file in order to begin practice. And besides spring sports, there's an important SAT event going on today. The SAT scoreback and strategy session has been scheduled for today, March 9th, at 5 p.m. in the Fortson Auditorium. All students taking the SAT this year or for 10th graders who want a head start for a next year are welcome. The representative from the Princeton Review will give a few helpful tips on taking the exam and provide information on how students can get extra assistance to prepare for the SAT. <sighs> now on to you, Zenadine. You tired? No. I need that one extra hour of sleep, honestly. Man. I know, I'm sad we lost it. It's all right. Is there a teacher that ha has had a particular impact on you? Well then, nominations are now open the for the Alberta Moorhead uh, Teacher of the Year Student Choice Award. I'm not gonna pick any favorites because I love all you teachers out all there. All right, you know, any teachers that can be nominated for all grades levels, there's awards and uh, recognized classroom teachers all right so guys if you have a favorite teacher why not Both of them. so when it is are you going to ask me the nominations are due by march 9th guys so you guys have like what how many more days today today, today. oh wow I know. you guys have only today <sighs> oh man there is get them quick and there is an online form to fill out check out the district website for more information and information uh, informational meetings for the freshman versus sophomore basketball tournament is on uh, tournament it's in A217 so A217 on March 17th at uh, 2:30 we will be discussing teams and how to sign up the Fortune cla uh, class of 2023 is hosting a fundraiser and a cherry hill lanes on Friday March 13th can we go bowling from 6 till 8 p.m. Pretty nice. It's only $20 uh, at the door and includes two games. Wow, that's a lot. That's actually yeah. a lot. Two games, pizza pop, and shoes. All grades are welcome. Come to support our, uh, the freshmen. Seniors, if you are, uh, if you have ordered senior gear from Mrs. Farhat in room G204, please come to pick it up. Pick it up uh, and uh, thank you. Now for all students. <clears throat> Even though the weather is getting better, this is from this is still uh, Michigan. So there is uh, there are free coats, hats, and gloves available to anyone who needs them in the uh, in the tractor closet uh, in the in the closet room. At, uh, the room is at I believe at A two O. Yeah, A two O eight A. Yeah, uh, please, please stop, stop by. by. We want you guys to come, be cozy and everything. Oh hi there, uh, writer of script. Uh, thank you for interrupting. But anyways, we want you guys to stay warm and stuff. So just let you guys know. All right. I'm Zinedine Beikai. I'm Dre Hand Jr. And see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Weather Center with me, Clay Toddingdale. <laughs> just wanted to mock my friend and roommate, Jet Bluskins. Anyway, let's just get right into your weather, shall we? Monday, which is March 9th, which is today, <laughs> it's going to be mostly cloudy with a high 62 and a low of 50. Tuesday is going to be a 90% chance of rain, so get your coats on. And it's also going to be a high of 53 and a low of 30. And Wednesday is going to be a 40% chance of sleet, which is rain and snow, with a high of 41 and a low of 30. Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 49 and a low of 36. Friday is going to be a 40% chance of sleet again with a high of 53 and a low of 34. Saturday, it's going to be a scattered showers, 
40% chance of, scat of scattered showers, high of 49, and a low of 44. And Sunday, it's going to be another 40% chance of rain, with a high of 51, and a low of 36. I've been Clay Tidingdale, and that was your weather. Hey guys, it's me, Manly Call Jamal. Back again with the ST word of the day. It's uh, intricate. That's the definition of the word. Haha, <laughs> joking. It's an adjective. Uh, the definition for this would be having complex and in related, interrelated parts. Okay. The uh, example sentence for this would be the intricate poem baffled most readers with its numerous obscure metaphors. Synonyms would be complicated and convoluted. That's the ST word of the day.